Hey folks, welcome back. So it's only two days, two days left until we can finally download the beta version of Bitwig Studio 6. And I hope they stay on time with the release schedule, but I guess they will because they're actually great developers in my opinion. And it's no shilling, it's just a fact. Um, so there will be a stream on Wednesday so we can talk and explore all the features together. So you can join the chat if you want to, you can express your hype, you can express your disappointment, or you can just say that you don't like me, okay? If you have a problem with me, if you have a problem with me, just say it to my face, okay? Um, so you can do this on Wednesday and there will maybe a test stream tomorrow because I haven't streamed in a year. So I have no idea if this all this stuff here on my screen actually works anymore. Uh, probably only on YouTube. Um, if you want to have a stream on Twitch, let me know, but I guess most people watch on YouTube anyway. I have higher resolution and uh, the chat is okay and I know all the people there. So probably only on U YouTube. So um, you can download the beta version of Bitwig 6 if you have an active license or upgrade plan. That's the name of it. And I want to talk about this here in this video because I see a lot of confusion sometimes online in forums. People are new to Bitwig, they ask questions if this is included, if that is included, how does it work? Is it a subscription? And it's not a subscription. So a subscription for me is something like Adobe Photoshop, which means you pay a monthly or yearly fee and then you can use the software. And if you don't pay this fee every month, the software is taken away from you, which is not the case with Bitwig. With Bitwig, you pay just one time, one single payment, and uh, then you own the software. This current version that you just bought, you own it forever, until the end of time, until the sun explodes, or until you decide not to make music anymore, so in four years or whatever. Um, so that's how it works, but there is an addition, a po bonus to that. You get the bonus year of free upgrades. And I think this is where the confusion starts for most people. And I want to show you this here on the screen. So this is the main page of uh, Bitwig Studio. So you can go over to buy here on the top. And we have three versions. We have Bitwig Studio Essentials, we have Bitwig Studio Producer, and we have Bitwig Studio the full, the real version, the, the main version. That's the, if you use that here, right, you're not a Bitwig user. You, only Bitwig, Bitwig users use this one here, okay? No, just joking, this is, this is pretty fine here. Yeah? Um, there is some older stuff called like 16 track or eight track, and they are not up to date anymore. Eight track is old version, uh, 16 track is the old version. We have only these three here. This is the current model. Bitwig Studio Essentials, Producer, main version. And in each of these versions, there are different things included, right? So here for the full version, we have 140, uh, 154 instruments, audio and note FX and more. And in Bitwig, Bitwig Producer, it's only 92. And in Essentials, it's 40, okay? The question is now, what kind of instruments and what kind of effects do I need them? Uh, is it do, maybe do I need the full version to make my music and so on? So if you ask me, it's not a bad move to actually start with a smaller version, okay? Because you can get a feel for Bitwig, how it works, um, how it looks like, how does it work on your PC, on your setup. And if you think you are kind of limited in what you have on instruments, then you can upgrade to another version. So from, from Essentials to Producer, for instance. But here's the thing, you don't need to pay the full price. I think from if you have Essentials and you want to upgrade from Essentials to Producer, you only need to pay the difference, right? So one of the bucks basically uh, from here to here. Also from here to here, you just pay the difference. So it's not like that you lost something or you, that you pay more than, than you need to be. You can easily start with a smaller version, explore everything. If you feel limited, just upgrade to a new version, just pay the difference and then you have it, okay? 
Um, I think the main difference here between producer and Bitwig Studio full version is the grid actually. So the grid is included in here, but only in the read only version. So you can load in presets from other people, but you can't change the contents. Okay. If you want to create something inside of the grid, you need the full version of Bitwig Studio. I think this is the biggest main difference between these two here, uh, besides having uh, lesser uh, devices also. You can also uh, extend this here and you can see more information. Um, so maybe start with the smaller version first and then you work your way up to the full version if you like what you see and what you hear of course. So that's what I, that's, that's the main thing. You pay this fee, this one price it's not a fee, it's a, it's a price. You pay this price $3.99, your own Bitwig Studio. At this point in time, this current version, which is at the moment Bitwig Studio 5. Point something, 5.2. You own this version forever because you just bought it until the end of time. No one can take it away from you. It's always yours. You can always open this up in five or 10 years and you can use it. It's yours. Um, but when you pay one of these packages here, I think only the biggest one, uh, maybe this is in here, circle membership. No, it's not, it's not written here. So when you pay, uh, uh, when you buy one of these packages, you get also on top of that, that's the bonus, 12 months of free upgrades. Okay, so when you buy one package today, if you buy this today, from this day on until next year, the same day, everything that will released in this time span is yours. Okay. You can download, you can use forever. It's, it's just yours. It's part of this, uh, payment here, basically that you own everything that's released in the next year. That's what you get always when you buy one package. Okay. Um, so we can also click on that here. And it says here, um, all Bitwig Studio and Bitwig Studio Essentials and Producers. So every package includes that. Licenses include a 12 month upgrade plan. This means that any new version released within 12 months of your registration will be available to you free of charge. Okay. Here is it black on white uh, or black on gray. Um, so everything that's released is yours. And then that's maybe when the confusion starts here for some people. When your upgrade plan expires, when this year is over, your license will continue to work with the latest version of Bitwig Studio that you received. Okay. So um, I, have here, <laughs> I have here a thing, right? We are today, August. Um, so you will pay this today, $3.99. And then this year is your upgrade plan, your free upgrade plan. So everything that releases here in September, October, November, December, or next year, January, February, March, May, June, July, uh, August, everything that's releases in this time frame is yours. Okay. And then of course, at some point in August, at the same day in August, your upgrade plan stops working. It's not longer active. If this is the case, you can still use everything that you owned or downloaded or was released in this time frame here. You can still use this until the end of time. It's no problem. The only thing that you don't get is new versions that release here in this time frame, right here. So when there's here Bitwig 7 coming out or Bitwig 8 or whatever, um, you can't download, you can't use. So then the question is, what? do I need to do to actually get these new versions, this, these upgrades, right? So all you have to do is instead of, instead of buying this whole package again, you don't need to do this. You already own the license in the past. So the only thing you need to do is to um, buy another upgrade plan, okay? One upgrade plan is basically another 12 months. So another year, which means um, in this case here, you basically start the whole thing. You say, oh, everything that's uh, that's coming out is something I like, I want to have. So I buy the upgrade plan, right? Another one, another year. 
And this one costs not $3.99. I think at the moment it's around $169 or something. So $169 euros. And then, of course, again, you can use all the new software that's released in here and also the old stuff. So it's not a subscription. It's basically just that you have all your upgrades covered. Everything that's released in this new time frame you can download for free and you don't need to pay the full 399 price again just pay a smaller fee and then you have another year of free upgrades so this is in my opinion pretty cool uh way of actually uh, working with licenses in my opinion but maybe you think here at this point I don't know what kind of features are coming in the future. I have no idea. I'm missing something heavily inside of Bitwig Studio and I don't know if it's actually release, releasing within this one year, right? So what you can do now is instead of uh, buying this upgrade plan here at this point, you just wait it out. You say, oh, just wait it out and see what they come up with, what they release and then I buy the upgrade plan, okay? So you can delay this upgrade plan to a later point in time. You can say, I just wait it out. So here releases maybe Bitwig 7 and everything is in there, what you ever dreamed of having in Bitwig Studio. And you say, this is exactly what, you, what, you, what I want. And then you say, okay, now I pay the upgrade plan here. I get a new license for another year, okay? And then you get all the features also in here that you have not covered with anything. You get this for free on top. So, which means you can delay this here maybe for another year and say, I just wait it out for one year. Um, and then, I don't know, three versions are releasing in here, maybe Bitwig 8, Bitwig 9 comes up, Bitwig 9.5. And then you say, okay, I like what I see. In the last three years, there was a really nice, um, really nice update schedule. I like all the features. And then you can do the same thing. You just buy another upgrade plan because you already owned this version here, okay? This is always 169. And you get all the stuff in here also and all the stuff that releases in the future. So in my opinion, it's a pretty dope model. Um, and it's not a subscription. So it's just, you can say, I just wait it out. I don't like what I see, or I don't know what's coming up in the future as features. I just wait it out. And then you delay this um, purchase here until you feel happy. So this is my opinion, the best way of dealing with these upgrade plans instead of buying uh, beforehand and then being disappointed what's coming out in the future, just wait it out until your feature arrives, what you actually want. And then you buy it and then you get all these additional features on top. Uh, for me, of course, I have trust in Bitwig, so I always basically do this. And I bought the last two versions with my own money, even though I can or I could just ask them to get the license for free. But some people get me fired for it, right? When I say, oh, Bitwig is actually really nice. Yeah. You, you say a lot of things because you get it for free, right? <laughs> so no, the last versions or upgrade plans here I uh, bought for myself just to have a good feeling doing videos and um, doing uh, saying good things or bad things about Bitwig, okay? Um, so yeah, this is how it works actually. I, I hope I um, got this right, but that's how I see it. So it's a pretty dope upgrade plan or upgrade uh, up, update license thing, right? Another thing is that uh, if you own one license, if you just buy it one time, um, let me go back here for a moment. Um, yeah, if you, what do I want? To, let, let me shortly, what do I want to say? Um, ah, yes. When you just bought one version, it's not only one license for one PC you get basically three licenses. So you can run this on multiple P PCs at the same time. Uh, so I have one Bitwig Studio license and I have it running on my Windows PC, on my Linux PC and on my very old Mac. 
um, which is also a big plus in my opinion that Bitwig Studio runs on every platform and you can also have one license and you can run it on multiple PCs at the same time. It's not like that you have to close down one version if you want to use it on another PC or vice versa. So if you have one household and you want to buy this maybe for your daughter or your son or maybe you have a wife and you want to make music together or whatever, uh, you can do this. Or if you have a laptop, right, and you want to open up the laptop and you have a um, draft there and you want to copy it over to your PC and you want to play it on your laptop at the same time then on your PC, you can do this. So it, one license basically runs on three PCs at the same time if you want to. And there's a management tool here in the back end if you log in. I can't show you this because there are all my um, uh, serial numbers in there. Um, so if you buy this, or if you go into the um, profile thing here, you can manage basically these PCs and you can just delete one PC uh, and um, activate it on another PC. So it's very straightforward, very easy. That's what I want to tell you. Um, I hope this is, everything is clear. Um, so yeah, I see a lot of confusion sometimes in uh, Reddit, on Reddit, on different forums, people asking this, they think it's a subscription and also back in the day when they introduced this kind of thing, uh, people were confused and I thought, oh, this is actually, they want to go to subscription to this Adobe model, but it's not the case. It's just, it's very easy. You buy one thing, you own it forever, and then you have this license plan, which is just a cheap way of keeping keeping yourself up to date with new versions and you can also decide if you want to update now or in the future without any um, cons. It's only pros basically for you. I know FL Studio has something like a lifelong license. I don't know how they do this. I guess they um, also sell additional plugins or VST things or um, tools on top of that but I have no idea how they uh, finance the stuff. Um, but this is a pretty dope thing to do. In my opinion, it works. And um, I want to explain this in this video. Um, also, something on top of that with the beta, um, if you have this kind of time frame and you have a beta version inside of this time frame, right? When the beta hits, usually the release version of this uh, of, of Bitwig 6, for instance, right, uh, comes out two months, th three months later, right? And it could be that the beta release is inside of your uh, license time frame, but the release is outside. You still get the beta, uh, the, you still get the full version of Bitwig 6, even though the beta is only inside of the time frame and the release version is not you still get the full version. So if you have your license or your upgrade plan is currently active, but it's ending maybe next week or tomorrow, uh, tomorrow it's, it's bad, but maybe one day later on Thursday. Um, so beta hits on Wednesday, your upgrade plan uh, ends on Thursday. So you still get the full version of Bitwig Studio 6, which is nice. Okay, so that's what I want to say in this video. I hope everything is clear. I hope I made no mistake. Please say it in the comments. If I was wrong, then I delete this video immediately. Um, I'm hyped for Wednesday. It will be nice. Lots of people will be happy, probably. Bye.